So happy Valentine's Day, late by day. I guess. So yeah. Just go with happy late Valentine's Day. Today I'm gonna to talk about drama and Valentine's Day and what can happen on Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day there could be two different there could be several different situations that happen. For example, some situations could be parents end up fighting or boyfriend or slash girlfriend or whatever you have ends up breaking up with you and you get depressed and end up killing yourself or you just end up depressed. Or another thing, you can get gifts like this from your best friends or your friends or just a guy friend you like or a guy you like and it could be the best day ever. Most people would like the second choice of having the best day ever and just having it with your friends. Sometimes it could end up the most terrible thing ever. Your best friend could be so depressed because they don't have one. Their boyfriend didn't get them anything. Their girlfriend didn't get them anything. There's drama going on. But then again, it could go from having a worse day to having the best day in your life. But then again, you can have where it seems like you're going to have a great day, but then it turns to the worst day ever. I, of course, had a pretty decent day at school. Wasn't such a great night, but can't explain. I was with my family. That day I got to see all my great friends and get gifts and received one late, but hey, it's still a Valentine's. I didn't get to spend it with the guy I wanted to, but I got to talk to him that night. I'm just glad I did. And I don't see why people start drama on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is supposed to be a happy day, supposedly. It's supposed to be a happy day to where you don't have to worry about the drama. Just be happy with your friends, your 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 specific your your cup your girlfriend boyfriend thing. I can't talk for a minute. Your boyfriend or girlfriend. You're not supposed to be worrying whether or not your best friend is going to freak out and not be your friend anymore just because a f ex friend of yours is starting drama. That's not a true friendship. You may have, you may start accusing the other person, but you could be as equally guilty. I know I'm not a perfect saint. I'm not the perfect friend. I may have my flaws, but I don't per, I don't purposely going around, oh look there's drama, let's go into it. I may seem like I love drama, I really hate it. Yes, I'll be there for my friends through thick and thin and help them through the thing, but if I'm in the fight with them, or I'm in a fight with them, I don't really think I want to be there for them to say. Because if if they're having problems with them that we're in the fight, yes, I understand if you're like, my dog died, or my family member died. That I completely understand, but if it's just, I want to talk to you, this break isn't helping. We are taking a break for a reason. You don't just keep encouraging them. If you do that, then you'll just make it worse. For me, I have an Irish temper. I'll admit, I have an Irish temper. But you don't go to your best friend and say, Bleh! and make fun of them and well, I won't really say make fun of them, but start accusing them of you were doing wrong, you did this wrong, you did that, blah 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 blah. You don't stop it, I will, we're not friends anymore. Blah. Do. You don't go around just accusing people for not doing the right thing. That's just stupid. I don't see a point in that. I'm like seriously losing just I used to be okay with having some drama, but other dramas, I just, I'm getting tired of it, so, I don't know what to do anymore, it, like, my best friend, a friend of mine is being a butthead because of another friend, and I wouldn't want to call him a friend either. A friend is being not liked 
by an acquaintance and that is like just getting every level of annoyance you could think of. And I don't see why couples I don't know how to put it. So I'm just saying I don't see why couples wait till Valentine's to say I love you so much. Oh my god, yes, love, blah. Yeah, I know Valentine's is a special day. I know, but you shouldn't just have to wait for that day to tell them that you were special to them. Or they're special to you. That's not how a relationship should work, in my opinion. Uh, this is all my opinion, so... Yeah. I just don't really see the point in being with someone if you don't like them. Or you just can't simply say, Yeah, I love you. Unless you've been dating for like three years or something in that extent. If you have a year, y'all have been making a pretty good thing, that's, then you really do love each other. But if it's just been like a week, don't say I love you. Say, oh yeah, I really like you too. You don't say that's just yeah. Well, again, happy Valentine's Day, late by day. See ya.